Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of the heart and here we are looking at the anterior surface. This chamber is the left ventricle. You can see that the wall is quite thick. Here again you can see part of the left ventricle wall and this is the atrial appendage. Posteriorly, this is the surface of the right ventricle. And we can see that the abnormality really lies on the surface of the heart. And what we are looking at is a case of fibrinous pericarditis. So here we are actually looking at the surface of the visceral pericardium or the epicardium of the heart. This is usually lined by a single layer of mesothelial cells and hence the appearance is quite glistening and smooth. However, here we have this very roughened appearance and as I rotate the specimen and pay attention to the edges, it's almost got this rather strandy look, like there are little brownish tan strands that have been broken up. This is what we call the classic bread and butter appearance, which somewhat resembles a piece of buttered bread that has been dropped on the floor and usually a rough surface like a carpet or a rug and then when you pluck it off it has this shaggy appearance. Fibrinous pericarditis is a result of inflammation and therefore there is this fibrinous exudate that covers or lines the pericardial cavity and it's caused by inflammation seen in autoimmune conditions such as SLE, in rheumatic fever, also after myocardial infarction, Dressler syndrome is pericarditis that can occur a few weeks post myocardial infarction. It can also be seen in uremia and also after surgery or post trauma. Clinically, the patients may experience a sharp pleuritic chest pain that is dependent on the position of the patient and also on auscultation. There may be a friction rub and this is really because of the strands of fibrin that are breaking as the heart beats. There may also be accompanying fever and grossly we looked at the features earlier on the virtual specimen where the surface of the epicardium is very roughened, looks quite shaggy and with this classical bread and butter appearance. Microscopically, this shaggy material that we see on the pericardial surface is actually fibrin and we are seeing this meshwork of dark eosinophilic fibrin strands and also sometimes there is this ingrowth of fibroblasts that help eventually with organization. So one of the complications is that if there is fibrosis eventually, this may actually cause the visceral and parietal layers of the pericardium to fuse together and this can potentially give rise to constrictive pericarditis. Hence, in summary, this is an example of fibrinous pericarditis where you can see this very roughened, shaggy appearance of the epicardial surface or the visceral pericardium of the heart. For this particular specimen, the parietal pericardium has been stripped off, so we are only looking at the surface of the visceral pericardium. This is due to inflammation and it can be seen in various immune-mediated conditions. Thank you.